Comedy podcast. How you doing, Jordy? I'm good, mate. How are you? Oh, living the dream, mate. Living the dream. One stage off, fucking. What is it? Number four. What is it? Oh, lockdown four. Just shut it down. Jeez. Just shut, shut it down. Shut me down before I get wild. <laughs> <laughs> just shut everything down for two weeks. Just settle shit, and then we won't have any more Karens running around and shit. Just... There's a lot of fucking Karens. Have you? Hey, Mate, since you've told me what a Karen is, man, I, I fucking lost my mind watching how many Karens there are out there. There's a lot of fucking Karens. You know? I, pfft, that oh. Bunnings chick, man, did my fucking head in. Yeah, actually, did you, did, you, did you see my response? I actually responded to that. Oh, did you? No, I yeah, missed I did. it. I did. Yeah, all right. Yeah. I missed it. Not at all. Read, read the comments, people. I'll do, I'll do, my, I'll do ha- my research. I hate me later. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see her on Sunrise? That was fucking hilarious. Good on fucking, good on what's his name, bloody uh, Carl. Carl Stefanovic. Yeah, yeah I, good I, on I like Carl. Carl. I don't know what people have against Carl. Nah, I, like I love him. Carl. He, Carl he tells real, her how it is. Yeah, he can, he can be a dick in the sense of... He, just he, like, asked her, he asked her what her doctor it was. Yeah. What, what are you a doctor in? It's and like, then you turned uh, around uh, and go, uh, aren't uh, you uh, a fucking... Well, was she a fucking... A psychic. Psychic, yeah. <laughs> Fact. I'm gonna I'm gonna call it now. If she's been a clairvoyant since she was nine, as she says, check her tax returns. Yeah, good point. Check her tax returns. No, don't, don't say nothing about tax break. We can get in, <laughs> we can get no, in trouble. Just, <laughs> no, 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 I'm joking. <laughs> what you make money from this? No, just yeah, I can check her tax returns. That'll no, I don't make any money off this. What? <laughs> <laughs> I don't sell anything through this company name, no. Um, oh, these people are just fucking idiots. Just put a mask on. Just do it. I just don't get it. Like, you know, you know what pissed me off about that? Like I, I like I say, I mean, people can do whatever the fuck they want. The thing I don't get is you're not hurting me, as in I don't give a fuck, as in you're not hurting me, but you're fucking you're fucking with that poor person that's working there trying to make a buck yep. with their fucking mind. That's the yeah. thing I hate. It's like, I get it. You want to prove a fucking point. Great. Prove your point. But that poor bastard that's got to get up, doesn't know if he's going to fucking get sick. Doesn't know if he's if it's bullshit. Doesn't know anything. He just wants to earn his fucking wage for his family. Yeah. And this clapped out bitch just, I've got every right. I've got every right. Well, this ain't America. And I could still probably beat you with a fucking hose. So shut the fuck up. <laughs> get the fuck out of Bunnings. You're fucking with me store. <laughs> did you see the, did you see the one that I think was at Burwood Burwood Kmart? I recognised the car park. Oh, that's mm. sad. Um She asked the cop if he was carrying a gun. And then she goes, Oh, if you're carrying a gun, uh that means it's armed abduction if you arrest me. Oh, God. <laughs> but this is the stupidity of it. They listen to the American shit. Yeah. Their their constitution. And our constitution are two fucking different things, you fucking retards. Hey, if anyone's going to be carrying a gun on the streets, I'd rather it be the cops. Like, what do you want them to bring if someone's trying to steal your two-rack tractor at midnight? But I guarantee you, she, if they got fucking caught out and they needed cops, they'd be the first fucking people on the phone. The first fucking people. No, oh, fucking, man, the fucking, oh, the one need the police, you know. It, no, yeah. they'd probably send the butler out, let's be honest. I don't know. I don't know. It's just, I, I, I just hope Jeeves is getting paid a bit to put up with whatever he fucking puts up with that bitch. I don't know how people... But you think about it, if people like actually had butlers and shit, how would they... Oh, no, no, but I'm just saying like in that in that scenario, how, how did... How did I, I'd lose my shit if I was a butler. I'd, I'd probably stab somebody. If you worked for someone like that? Yeah, I couldn't do it. I mean, don't Depends get me wrong. what the money's worth. I have worked for people like that over the years. Yeah, and I've shut, I've shut the fuck up. I get it. I know, but oh, yeah, I don't know. I just, yeah, some of these people just, what they're thinking, I don't, I don't know. I mean, you see it on the TV, you see it on the YouTube and shit. 
what they're thinking. Oh, I've got no idea. It's just like, mate, fucking, I don't know. I don't know. I'm lost for words. I'm never lost for words, but I'm fucking lost for words. Don't know what to say. Karen, Benny's only weakness. Karen, yeah, fuck, she's, like, she's my crippling night. <laughs> and I knew a fucking decent Karen back in the day when I did cooking. My first ever cooking, when I first started cooking, there was a Karen in my class. She was lovely. Oh, no, there are some good Karens. You know? That's why I was sort of, I actually weighed that up. I, I sat there and I was working out going, oh, yeah, 90, fucking whatever. It was, <laughs> I started. She was nice, I gave it myself. I'm like, I'm sitting there going, this Karen was nice. Why, is, why are these Karens such bitches, man? <laughs> There's a few traits of a Karen, and no one explained it better than Matt Nanke. Mm. But it's usually that haircut, and you know, I need to speak to the manager. Oh, we talked about this last week, but yeah. yeah. Um, but that's all. That's all, that, but that's their whole go-to. I want to speak to your manager, and that was funny. One guy actually said, um, "Hold on, let me go get him." Hello, how can I help you? <laughs> <laughs> she lost her shit. She goes, "I want to speak to the owner." Oh fuck! All right, go get him. <laughs> Hello, how can I help you? <laughs> Get the fuck out of my story, guys. <laughs> It'd be so good to have a change of clothes behind the desk. Oh. Or something you just put in, uh, you, you, like you just change your top. Mm. Like you go into the back room, change your top, wear something a bit snazzy, come out, get out of my store. Well, there's there's one if you get a chance. I don't know the link to it, but if you guys have a look on YouTube, there's one, it's, it's a Karen one. Um, and basically she walks into a store like a servo mm. and she abuses the shit out of the guy behind the desk, right? And so, but like he, like she's just total bitch, complete and utter bitch. And he just, this guy turned it on at 90, 900 degrees, mate. Fucking he just went hard and turned it on her. And all that chick was looking for was a job. Instead of just coming up to him going, oh, you got any work and that? She was trying to be smart and shit. And so he's done a smart ass comment back to her. She didn't like it. So she's just gone, can I speak to your manager? And he's just gone, ah, here we go, game on. And then she actually came in to actually apply for it. She goes, um, no, she actually got a guy, one of her friends to come in as a, a sheriff to give like a, you know, the, we, I'm taking you to court, what they call it, fucking the warrant, a warrant summons or whatever it's called. I can hand it over. And the guy's looking at it going, and he just starts laughing and he calls like Julio over. Hey, Julio, come over, have a read of this. And they're both reading because it's just a job application. <laughs> <laughs> and then she comes back two days later and she goes, delete the videos. Delete the videos you keep putting on YouTube. Delete the videos. He goes, no, nah, not deleting them. He goes, I'm going to show you how fucking stupid you are. And she's like, <laughs> delete those videos. Delete. And then her husband comes in, he loses his shit. And she, and she basically goes, all I wanted was a job. Well, and he goes, why didn't you ask me? Why did you have to go all this... You know, act like a total dick. Yeah, fuck. It's like how fucking stupid are people? Like, I don't know. I remember, I remember once. Um, it was one of the rooms I was running. I think it was the Dorchester when I first started running that, and I was waiting behind someone who was waiting to be seated because I wanted to order dinner before the show mm -hmm. started. And this lady just pushed it in front of me with a piece of paper puts it on the counter to the manager and I always have to order food through the manager because, you know, staff meals yeah. all that sort of shit. And we both just looked at her and she looked at us and just turned around and walked away. It was a job application. Yeah. What the fuck? Are you, how are you going to get a job pushing in front of a, a... I'm not a customer, but you know what I mean. No, like, no. you don't know that. She doesn't know that. No. Yeah. No, <laughs> fucking idiot. Yeah, it's, it's retarded. Look, that, that privilege shit, you know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. And that works on both ends. I don't care if you're fucking blue, black, orange, fucking white. It, it when you see the privilege thing kick in, yeah, it's so fucking stupid. And and you sort of sit there going, man, fucking hell. I don't know. Actually, I've got a question for you. We're talking about it with Hannah today. Oh, no. um, if you got married. Right. That's, that's a big yeah. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> we knew you were going to say that. If you got God. married, <laughs> you don't know me. <laughs> yes, I do. Fuck you. <laughs> if you got married, what sort of wedding would you have? Like, what would be like? You know, would you have a barbie? Would you fucking have a reception center? Uh, you... Simple, because I don't remember the last time I went to a wedding where anyone looked happy. 
All right. Everyone looks way too stressed. But so what's we'll simple? Do... Give me a simple, as in, what would be a simple wedding for you? Like, as in, what would it entail? Gazebo, a bar. Yeah. Outdoor, because that seems to please everyone more than indoor. People can smoke and drink, do what they want. There'd be mm-hmm. bushes for fucking uh, music. Yeah. Um, I think we'd get the serious shit out of the way first. No, 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 no. Uh, do a real quick thing of the serious shit and then just piss up. Perfect. Anna, you owe me a hundred bucks. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Anna goes, no way. Do it. Like, I've turned around and like some, some person from, from a work from America had to go to a wedding. And yeah. anyway, um, he's from IT and blah, blah, blah. And he was sorting some shit out for her today, which made me laugh. Like, and they, they were on the phone for like fucking 15 hours. Good God. Anyway, yeah. it was, yeah, it was, anyway. Well, uh, anyway, and the guy had to go, had to leave and I had to go sort some computers out at, at the, in the city, get some new computers and shit like that, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, make a long story short, he goes, I'm going out to a reception. And he goes, reception? What sort of reception? What time is it over there? And he goes, oh, it's, uh, it's about eight o'clock. And he goes, Jesus. oh, okay, cool. He goes, I just got to go. I'm going to be there a couple of hours and I'll be back and then we'll get back online. Anyway, all right, cool. And he goes, I've just got to go up the road. I've got to go grab what I've got to grab and I'll come back. And then that's what happened. Two hours later, comes back and then he goes, how was the reception? Great. Oh, and then he's like trying to figure it out. Like fucking wedding reception. Like what? You know, two hours. He goes, and then he goes, so how, what, what did they do? Oh, they, I don't know, uh, an arcade, like a time zone arcade center. Oh, wicked. Yeah, yeah hold awesome. on, hold on. Don't get excited now. Oh, I just okay. won a hundred bucks. <laughs> Man, fuck that up. <laughs> Anna can't watch this. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, they did an arcade with pizza and soft drink. That's amazing. I'd do that. No, you yeah. wouldn't do, no. You'd need alcohol. Get fucked. Oh, fuck yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. But this is no alcohol. This is like pizza. Oh, soft like drink. Mormon or something. Yeah, no, no, no. Yeah. I, I, I don't, I don't, have, I don't have alcohol, yeah. No, I want to have uh, like a petting zoo. But like an adult petting zoo. So if you want to hold a snake, you can hold a snake. Oh, no. You know we got to get one There'd of those. There'd be strippers. Car- everything would be in one go. Castle. One of those castles. Jumping castle. Oh, yeah. I can see myself in there. <laughs> can somebody get him out? The kids aren't having to go. <laughs> oh, there'd be no kids there. Fucking hell. <laughs> it'd be a kid-free wedding. But no, I think um, I think an adult petting zoo, like holding a crocodile or a snake or some shit, would be pretty cool. But an arcade. I couldn't believe it. it was like a time zone arcade. That's pretty cool. I dig that. Oh, I don't know. Bowling Could... and shit while you're getting pissed. Yeah, but this is like, it's like a kid's party, bro. And? It's weird. <laughs> What's your point? <laughs> it just seems weird to me. Yeah, fair enough. Probably go, sh- probably go shooting. Have some guns involved at the wedding. Make it real redneck. I don't know. But it wouldn't be traditional. It wouldn't be in the church. They, 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 no, they, I don't mean a church, they, but I just they mean like, me out. I, I just mean like, you know, just your after party. You'd have a bit of a piss up. Yeah. Some music. Yeah. Fucking, yeah. you know, it wouldn't be fucking, let's have pizza and soft drink. No, no, I'd be a bit more extravagant than that. You know, fucking hell, at least a barbie for God's sake. You know, like, I don't know. There'd be no, probably Mexican food. Yes, simple. But no, no, no hard tacos. They're way too noisy. God. Yeah, soft yeah. tacos, no nachos. That, that, that'd be your head in. Fuck Anyone that. eats like an animal, they get booted. It's yeah. my wedding. It's my happy day as well. <laughs> oh, God, it's a big man. if, but yeah, there'd probably be Mexican food. <laughs> Oh, well, I'll just want 100. You, you, you'd do it, but you wouldn't do it. <laughs> oh, God, you fucked me up on that now. She's no, gonna, no, no, no. She's, she's going to have a loophole here. She's going to say, no, no, you agreed that he would fucking not do it. And, uh, anyway. You fucked up my theory. Jeez, I'd find Jesus. someone to love me, Benny. So it's, that's what's ah, going on. you got plenty of... I love you, bro. You got that's what's going people. up there. Yeah, but you're already married, so that means fuck all. But, I mean, I appreciate it. We can still snuggle. <laughs> If we, if we ever get on the road and you need somebody to snuggle, I'm there for you. I'll spoon you, Benny. I forgot my pillow. Yeah. I can be your big. I can be your big spoon. <laughs> Sold. <laughs> we should do BJ balls out uh, snuggle pillows. Could you imagine that, Benny? Travel travel pillows. Could you imagine that, Benny? Middle of the night, Benny. 
that doesn't feel like a spoon, mate. That's more of a fork. <laughs> Fuck, man. Do you, do you sleep with your lighter in your pocket? <laughs> oh, God. Beto balls out travel pillows. Oh, God. Would you imagine that? Oh, God. I think mean, that'd be great. Fucking two, two big fucking balls off the side. Yeah. <laughs> soft balls, soft balls. They wouldn't be metal. Uh, not the metal balls. No, no. They only come out for special occasions. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All, all videos. Yeah. All videos, yeah. <laughs> oh. so, what, so what's been happening in the world at the moment? Bit nothing. Of fuck all. Yeah. Nothing. I've, I've, um, I haven't really... Well, I did, I did run to the city. Mm. I did a covert run. I had to plan it out. I had, had fucking maps out like I was Hitler and shit on the table. <laughs> what, what were you get, looking? What were you looking for? And answer very carefully. To get to the city, grab what I had to grab without actually getting uh, caught. So, okay. Uh, so I, not like Hitler, more like the Jewish ghetto. Yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah, trying to get out. Yeah. So I was probably doing a Star Like Thirteen, trying to get out of there. You know. So. Jesus. Uh, all right. Anyway, and I've, I've turned around, I've planned the whole route and did all that and got in there, got some computers, did a couple of rolls as I was walking into the building. Um, I think I pulled a knee that night, but anyway. <laughs> I, I walked in every every room of the office and it was just like sanitizer. Fuck, man. <laughs> <laughs> Start lathering yourself. I, I, I don't know who's been there. And it's just looking at me like, seriously, leave the sanitizer on. I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> They got in out of there, got out of the city, fucking had to go up bloody uh, near Chadston. And so I've turned around and gone. And it was actually quite funny. I drove down bloody, uh, uh, what was it, fucking uh, exhibition, down exhibition. I've gone, no, I'm not going to go to Flinders. There's got to be cops on there. I'll take, I'll take Collins Street. And I'm going up Collins Street. And, I, and it's funny because the city was dead, only cabs and shit. And then I had a massive argument with this guy in a cab. But, you know, <laughs> it's like, <laughs> seriously. Do. Yeah. You know, it's like, the thing I didn't get right, it's fucking, the city's dead. Now, he's seen some mates across the road, so he's pulled up like a spastic and sort of turned fucking side on. I'm trying to get past him, fucking roll me window down, and I'm just going, fucking blah, 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 <laughs> fucking pop a dom. Anyway, <laughs> kept going. <laughs> Lost me shit. And it's like, why are you yelling at me? And I'm going, because he's on your fucking side. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Anyway, fucking, and then we got up there and then we dropped off what we had to drop off, got back, fucking got back to, got to the home, and yeah. But I don't know, this lockdown, what's going to happen next, I reckon it's going to be fucking harsh. Uh, it should just be, should just be two weeks, close everything, just shut it down, give everyone the 1500 bucks for the two weeks, whatever it is, just shut everything too, down. But this is the thing I don't get now, man. Who's going who's gonna to take responsibility for this shit? Like, who's going to be accountable for any of this shit? Will there be any accountability? That's what I want to know at this point in time. A lot of shit went wrong. A lot of shit went wrong. And I mean, everybody's blaming Dan Andrews and shit. And then like, he's not the only person one, the only person to blame no, here. He's in a fucking office, mate. You can't do that. You know what I mean? Anything. Um, um, so, I don't know. It's just weird because it's like, like, I feel, I feel bad for all those people that have lost families. I mean, you know, no. um, all the old people that have died and shit. And they're all talking about it. they haven't even been feeding those old people in. And those I, places I heard they, that the other day. Oh fuck, they charge an arm and a leg. Mm. And you and you're telling me they can't look after fucking people that have paid good money. Something wrong here. There's something I'm, wrong. I'm, I'm 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 very lucky. My my grandparents aren't in a home yet. But um yeah, I heard about that the other day. It's fucked. Yeah, but when you hear shit like that and, and as they, as they get older, you, God forbid you don't want to put them in a fucking home. You know what nah. I mean? No, nah, they'd live with me. That'd be good. You, know, you wouldn't want to trust the fucking home. No. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, and, and, and that's not to say all homes are bad, but, you know, you hear stuff. Well, they've pulled out, out of all these homes they've now they've talked about, it's like a fair few of them that have fucking, this problem's happened, you know? Um, you know, and, and what pisses me off is like nurses are now like, oh, it's all fucking, like one nurse jumped on, they had her all fucking pixelated and shit and she's like oh this is bullshit this is not that bullshit she goes oh this is a sort of sh a shambles and fucking um it's been going on for fucking before covid and i'm sitting there going but why wouldn't you say anything mm. if you saw this shit happening fucking before before now why the fuck wouldn't you call them out on their shit and say hey this is fucked mate you know it's like that's the thing i don't get it's like if you're doing something untoward 
or, or part of something untoward and you feel that it's untoward, don't jump on the fucking bandwagon now and go, oh, well, yeah. it's, but it's fucked. You were there. You were part of it. You know, it's like, yeah. you know, should have called it out then. No. Yeah, no, I agree. But I just feel bad for the families and, you know, it's like you feel sorry, like, you know, people losing loved ones and not knowing if they're dead or alive and then finding out they're dead. Oh, God forbid, you know, that, that shit. I don't know. It's fucked. I don't know. Well, yeah. thought, thoughts with anyone going through that at the moment. Absolutely. Because that's a proper shit situation. Absolutely. Um, God willing, they all come through. So, you know. Oh, well, I spoke to one of me. Kay, he ended up in fucking hospital. Um, high blood pressure and shit. And I've got to bring him tonight to see how he's doing. Um, so he's out in, he's in Europe. So um, it was funny because I just rang him up. And, um, you know, sort of wish him a happy, well, I'll call it out, I'm a muzo, so I've got to say happy E to everybody out there. Jordy doesn't know what that means. Oh, sorry. <laughs> no, no, Self-destructing in no, no. five. Yeah. <laughs> no, I didn't say. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 but, um, yeah, uh, basically this is our E time, so I rang him up to say, you know, wish him a happy E and all that. And, um, yeah, he fucking bloody... Jumped on bloody, what is it, Viber or not? And he's fucking, I thought he was in his bed because usually, like, you can just see him laying back and in his bed going, ah, oh, fucking, I'm just chilling out, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, he's like, hey, how you going? I'm like, what are you doing, you lazy bastard? Get up. And he's like, no, no, he's fucking show you. I'm like, fuck, you're in hospital. Fuck. So I hope, yeah, hopefully, hope to God he hasn't caught any fucking COVID or. Yeah, fuck, fingers crossed. You know, you think I fucking talk, fucking, you could stick him underwater and he, he wouldn't stop either. <laughs> you know. I think that's illegal. <laughs> uh, but yeah. So. I don't know how you talk to your cousins, but that's not how I do it. No, no, no. no, it's no, there's no I'm kidding. I don't talk to my cousins. I'm Australian. Yeah. Well, it's pretty hard. Like, my cousin's here. I don't really get to see a lot of my cousins here at the moment. It's like, we're all locked here. They're all too busy out and about and fishing and stuff, so. <laughs> Abiding by the law. I love <laughs> Abiding it. by the law, as they normally do. <laughs> what have you been up to? Oh, nothing. I just, just took my boat out fishing, caught some fish. But you live in a uh, area where there's no uh, actual marinas. <laughs> <laughs> How does that work? Explain that to me, yeah, sir. Fine. Do you uh, have a license? Or what? <laughs> <laughs> do I actually need one of those things? <laughs> explosives. Do I use explosives? No. <laughs> oh, why are the fish all floating on top of the water? I don't know, sir. They're hungry. Who knows? Oh, I nearly killed fucking Ari goldfish. Really? Why? How? Anyway, I've got to change the water every couple of fucking weeks and shit. And, you know, and I've, I've turned it's getting comfortable because my balls still hurt. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. How are the balls? Not as shiny as our mascot balls. No. Quite sore. Oof. Hardest part about having a vasectomy is waking up the next day and wondering whether you've pissed yourself or not because you slept with an ice pack. Can I ask you, have yes. you as yet had a... Um, yeah. Yes, and? Felt weird. It, <laughs> it felt so weird. Did it hurt? Yeah. Oh. Uh, first one did, yeah. Um, maybe because I was beating the shit out of it, but no. Um, <laughs> I said uh, 24 to 48, do not touch the thing. No, <laughs> what? What are you doing about? <laughs> no, I've got better willpower than that. No. Um, <laughs> I've never held back before. Fuck it. Um, it felt really weird. Like, without sounding cliche, it felt like something was disconnected. <laughs> like that's the that's the best fucking way I can put it. It it legit feels like something's been cut. It's weird. So even still, yeah. Oh, fucking hell, oh, it's strange. Unbelievable. We've got to get diagrams for this thing. Okay, <laughs> I'm gonna just drop the camera real quick if you want. No, I don't think we're. I don't think we're. I'm not looking. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we're licensed for that. No, oh, but no, I feel, it, it feel it feels weird. I've got to I've got to joke it profusely for the next few weeks to get a um a test to see if I'm still active. 
My arm's a sore, Benny. <laughs> Come on, mate. Think a bit. Think a mechanical. Some, build something mechanical. I don't know. Get a strut. You know, get a strut where you can. You know those. What do I call a those? Shocker. A shocker. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and get them to fucking get like you know those uh, inflatable fucking. What do they call those? You know those uh, like on the Land Rovers. You know the the fucking. Uh, <laughs> The airbags. The airbags, yeah. <laughs> I'm not building a sex toy. Not again. <laughs> fuck that. It was waste not again? Shit. What the what? fuck? <laughs> did you say not again? No. I think you did. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you did, but I'm, all right, we won't go nah, into that. No, fuck now. that. No, no, no. I'm not, <laughs> ask anyone, mate. I'm not that good of a mechanic. <laughs> <laughs> and electronics are not my thing. So, yeah. And where, how, how does this thing work on your wall, Jordy? Oh, it's a piece of art. <laughs> Fair enough. What the fuck were we talking about before this? I can't remember. Um, um, something about Ari, Ari Goldfish. Yeah, what'd you do to your goldfish? Oh, I didn't do anything. I, I'm like, you know, I, I've got to get him out of the, the, the fucking bowl thing, right? You know, yeah. the fucking circular thing. The bowl, yeah. The bowl, yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> anyway, I've turned around. And so Buddy's thought, like, you know, we're going to have a midnight snack. So he's walked over to the bench and we're oh, all, no. we're, you know, we've got Ari out. And, and no. I'm like, no, no, I'm cleaning Ari, mate. So leave Ari alone. Let's have a look. And so I start pulling these things out and I'm giving them a wash and all the rest of it. And I get up to him where I scoop him out. I usually scoop him out with my hand, put him in another bowl. He waits in there. Bowl gets clean. Transfer him back in there. Well, let's just put it this way. Mate, he had a suicide mission. So it was basically, I've grabbed him. As I put him in my oh. hands, he's just gone. Whoosh. He's gone literally in the end. I'm just watching him go. Fucking hell. Fucking hits the tiles. I've looked at him. I've gone, holy fuck, I've killed the goldfish. He went to but ground level. He hit the ground, bro. Shit. Hit the tiles. I thought he, he was finished. And I've looked at him. I've gone down there, grabbed him, fucking CPR'd him. <laughs> fucking... <yeah. laughs> Bit of... Suck a finger in his butt for good measure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But he's just like, <laughs> look at his lips go. Come on. No, he's got to be dead. He's got to be dead. <laughs> Never had goldfish. <laughs> Grabbed him, scooped him up, put him back in the bowl, tapped him a couple of times and just, whoop, he just kept swimming. That was it. <laughs> <laughs> he was knocked out. He was knocked out. Holy shit. And I just literally had to tap him a couple of times. He's fine, man. He's, he's loving it. He's swimming. He's cool. You know, the only thing I'm, I'm worried about is the only thing I'm worried about now, every time he goes around the bowl, he sort of goes around the bowl a couple of times and straight at the bowl, keeps hitting the fucking bowl. <laughs> Might be a bit of brain damage. Not sure. We'll see how we go. <laughs> oh, is, there much, is there much to damage? Oh, no, don't. As long so. as he's breathing and eating, that's his function sort of, oh, isn't it? So I've got to say hi to I him. I don't know. I thought, I, I thought it would have killed him. Like literally bench high, off the bench, he's flown up about a good foot. So if you're six foot and you're picking him up at bench height, that's that's like a five foot drop onto onto tiles. Yeah, about that, about five foot, easy for a goldfish. Yeah, that's like a fifty five fucking story jump for a fucking normal person, <laughs> give or take. <laughs> yeah, all right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's my maths. I don't know. I'm not. A, I'm not a builder, bro. I've got no idea. I'm not a physicist or anything like that, or, a, or what they call it. They do physics. I'm just saying. Let's just say 55 floors. What's a story? Eight foot? Yeah, it depends. 10 foot? Yeah, probably eight foot ceiling, yeah. How long's a foot? 30 centimetres. Oh, I should know that. So, yeah, about 10, 10 feet. Yeah, that's about a five-story drop. Yeah, so he's hit the ground. People don't survive fucking five-story drops. Maybe. Oh, it depends how many drugs are in your system, I guess. Yeah, but he's got no drugs in his system. Fucking hell, he's literally got fucking... Goldfish food, okay, and that's it. But it was funny. It was literally poke, poke, and he just gone. Oh, oh, there he goes. <laughs> He's fine. Right. And I'm... Here's a question. Now, if this is too morbid, mm. feel free to stop you. Veto the question. <laughs> yeah, stop me. Had he died, yeah. and Buddy was there, would you have fed him to Buddy? Nah, probably not. That's just. That's just going too far. Too far. But I've got to say, one thing Anna did say, if we if he did die, 
it wouldn't be the first time we had to change goldfish. <laughs> that was her answer. <laughs> now, that was pretty harsh, I think, but I'm not going to say anything. That's that's which way she went. She went, you know, I just sort of went, oh, Ari, fell, hell, Ari fell down and she's like, how did that happen? And I explained the whole fucking situation. I caught it up in the air and fucking hit the ground. And, you know, the floors and the whole lot. And she's just like, well, if he died, we would have got another one. <laughs> she's a realist, let's be honest. Mm. But it was funny. I'm like looking at him going, no, I've killed him. I fucking killed him. I'm down there, mate. I'm fucking grabbing him. Nothing. Not a fucking peep. And I got fucking chucked him in there. It was literally just gone. (laughs) Little finger of life. He was just like, oh, fuck. (laughs) Funnily enough, when you do the finger of life to men, they have the same reaction. They do, actually. It's it's happened to me a few times (gasps) in the toilet where I just turn around and go, whoop, whoop. (laughs) What's in that glory hole? Whoa. (laughs) You know what? I've never seen a glory hole. I haven't either. I mean, in real life. No. I don't think that would be a thing here, would it? Glory hole? Maybe I'm in the wrong clubs. Yeah, actually, and it's just coming up to the door now. And I, yeah, yeah, I'm just telling you, you owe me a hundred bucks. <laughs> you owe me a hundred bucks. No. Yeah, Geordie, Geordie wouldn't do the time zone fucking wedding. Oh, he would do a what was it? What would you do? A, what sort of wedding? Um, I'd have music, gazebo, open air. Music, gazebo, open air. Uh, adult petting zoo. Adult petting zoo. Like reptiles what, and shit. Reptiles and shit. That's what he'd have. So you owe me a hundred bucks. Don't shake your head. Get your money out. <laughs> 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 and none of that paper IOU bullshit either. Yeah. <laughs> Just remember, I've got your dog right here. He's sitting here. He's fucking. <laughs> if you don't give me your money, your dog's had it. I wouldn't hurt you, buddy. I'm just, just we're just using you now. <laughs> None of that I owe you a massage shit. <laughs> I want the whole money. <laughs> oh god, fucking. Hell. What were we talking about again? Fucking just got. I don't out. know. My brain's fucking mush, man. The m- m- naked morbid thing about the. Oh, okay, maybe, maybe, maybe that's a rule we could have for the podcast. Mm. Every episode, we're allowed to veto a question each. Okay. If, if it comes up, I'm not saying it's going to come up every episode. All right, all right. I'll go, I'll go one. I'll go one. All right, here we go. Question. Right, we're going to have to name this one question time. All right, yeah, question go. time. Question time. If you had a, if you saw a glory hole for the first time in your life, yep. Right, and so obviously you walked in the shit out. There's holes everywhere. Would you do the old? Let me have a bit of a look in it. Look in it. Or would you just go, nah, fuck that. I, I'm, stick, I'm not going down to have a look. I'd rather poke my finger through than put my eye up to it. So you put your finger in there? I can nah. wash my fingers with soap, not my eyes. Yeah, but you don't know it's a glory hole. That's what I'm trying to say. You might be a glory oh. hole, might not be a glory hole. But you've walked into this toilet where there's a shitload of holes everywhere. Obviously, it's going to be a fucking glory hole. But I'm just saying, would you have a look? Well, for a start, I wouldn't touch it. Because I don't touch stuff in bathrooms. Like I usually use toilet paper as a glove. Because mm-hmm. public toilets are fucking disgusting. Yeah. I definitely wouldn't stick my dick in it. I'd, I'd, I'd stick a finger through before anything. Okay. And what about or, if you... Or, 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 or I'd, yeah. I'd write on a piece of toilet paper if I happen to have a pen on me saying M or F, please tick and just put it through. And what about if it came back it's like a... I don't know, a, what's the word? A fucking, what are these, what are those new fucking words they use? A fucking, a, a cyber thing or whatever the fuck it is. I don't know what these fucking those things, you know what I'm talking about. Another Some, kid. Yes, yeah, some one of those. And you're just like, well, I don't, I don't know. What I, I, I don't believe in other kin because they don't believe in themselves. But I'd, I'd, I'd entertain the idea for a second if I was single. You'd give it a crack? Would you give it a crack? Depends on the circumstance. It was just a random bar. Uh, No. Because you don't know who the fuck's walking in. But from what I've been told from swingers parties, they're usually pretty clean. Not not polyamorous parties. I mean like swingers parties. yeah, yeah, Yeah. So if it was clean, or the other, the chick was clean, yeah, I'd probably do it. Okay. 
But it, yeah, yeah, good point. Yeah, yeah well, obviously, yeah. Well, Actually, I've, I've gone this long without catching any. I'm not going to lose over a glory hole and then wonder if it was a dude or a chick. No, but you'd know straight away, wouldn't you? I don't know, Maybe. would you? Oh, know. it depends if there's stubble on his chin. I don't know. Have I? Will I have a... Yeah, uh, <laughs> nah. Yeah, you'd know. <laughs> I've never had a blowjob with stubble before, so <clears throat> yeah, I'd, I'd probably feel if it was a dude. Oh, jeez, I haven't back in the day. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> All right, question reversed. What about you? Would I? Oh, I don't think I'd have a look now. Like, I'd just, yeah. <laughs> now, but 20 years ago? 20 years ago, yeah, probably. <laughs> what What's is that thing? thing? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Come out with like the three stooges, that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just two dicks. It's like a... <laughs> hey, that looks cool on camera. That looks cool on camera. Remember if you had two glory holes and you just come up with it. like that. Yeah. And then you just get this. <laughs> look, at the, look, at, look at the camera. What? <laughs> <laughs> that'd be so fucking. Yeah, it'd be fucked up. Yeah, that'd, that'd um. How'd you get herpes in your eye? Oh, I was no. actually. Th- well, you get pink eye for sure. I don't think you'd get pink eye with a dick, could you? Okay, oh, unless it's been an ass. Yeah, maybe. You probably could get pink eye. If it's been a buddy. <laughs> I don't know. I'm a doctor, but you never know. I was actually thinking about it now because all this shit going on and like, you know, people are thinking, think about this. You know, you know the Shaft Cinema in the city? You must know the Shaft Cinema. You don't know the Shaft Cinema. God, fuck, I'm old. Um... <laughs> Shaft Cinema used to be where they'd have a stripper in a fucking booth thing, right? Oh, I and know what was, a peep show. A peep show. A peep show. That's yeah, the yeah, fucking... Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, Sharp Cinema. I think it was called Sharp Cinema. Basically. Sharp Cinema? Yeah, that's what it was called. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. That's what that's it used amazing. to be amazing. Yeah. Sharp Cinema. That's what it used to be called, Sharp Cinema. And you'd drop, drop two bucks in and the fucking thing would go... Jesus, that's walk. cheap. Yeah. I think it was like that. I can't remember. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've, heard, I've heard I've heard of them but I didn't know what they were called but yeah 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 it's a peep show so yeah, yeah. anyway um, anyway I think we should do a comedy show in one of those think about it you never catch COVID you get about 10-15 people watching your fucking set it's a pretty good idea holy shit that is a really good idea a Zoom gig yeah tri- well, it's sort of like a Zoom gig yeah I don't know it's like this now, if you know, the side will go, comes up, it's like, whoa, and then boom, comes out. Hi, how you going? <laughs> you know, <laughs> not him, I want another one. Yeah. <laughs> you know, so, yeah. yeah, I don't know. I was thinking, it's, it's, it's too much fucking free time on my hands, you know. Yeah, I know, I can tell. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Trying to work out different systems in life. Oh, well, what about that thing? Um, <sighs> sure, there's a venue we could do that. Yeah. Or have a, or have like, you remember back in the days where they used to have like those, um, uh, you know, the strippers where they have those lounges where you'd actually private rooms. Yeah. So you can have like a private room before one person to watch the person do their set. Oh, that must have been a very, very old, not very old thing. But when I worked at the strippers, they weren't um, individual private rooms it was like, no no, no they um, weren't they were, they were all one i know that they're they all one they're always one but what i'm saying what about yeah. if it was a private room as one you just have the comic standing there and talking to you yeah <laughs> doing the <laughs> doing the set no you don't think no. why peep, peep show comedy is way better than that yeah no yeah true true you just don't know what you're gonna get so that's the whole yeah that'd be that'd be awesome i reckon be, I be like, fucking hilarious you know so you get a Get a comic in the middle and there's people watching like fucking what? Fucking hell. And shit. Oh, that's right. I don't know. <laughs> Too much time. Man. There's got to be somewhere we can do that. Yeah, it's got to be. They're probably still around. I think they're still around, aren't they? Those stripper joints? Those places? Peep shows? Probably. Um, I think they are. Not a, friend sure. of my, a friend of mine went went to work at one, but she went to work at one as a um, a shop assistant. Oh, okay. So it was like a sexy shop, and then they had the peep show thing downstairs. Yeah. Fuck off, Turkish. Um, see, I don't know if. Yeah, I don't know about that anymore. But it's got to be somewhere we can do it. 
right out. <laughs> Get the lineup going. Hey, uh, we've got a peep show lineup, boys. Who wants yeah. to be or girls want to be in this? You know, <laughs> peep show comedy. I think it's a great <laughs> idea. God, fuck, could you imagine that? Then by the end of it, some comic comes back naked. It wasn't a fucking strip show. It was a fucking comic <laughs> comedian show. Fuck's sake. They're offering me extra. <laughs> hey, if you make money, do it. <laughs> but Why yeah. No, nah, it's been... It's, I've, I've had too much time to think, man. So I've got to get... Uh, I've got to get stuff going now. Yeah. I've got to start exercising. I haven't exercised yet. I've walked the machine a few times. You've looked at it. Yeah, I've walked past it a few times. That, that counts as a couple of Ks. It's in my ways. I've got to always walk past it. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I will start my regime. I've got to go to the osteo next week. I've got to get cracked. I'm going to a new osteo. Yeah. And get um, cracked. That's the best fucking feeling. Oh, I fucking love it. Love it. Love there's a bit cracking. There's a guy, uh, I think his name's Hugh Hightower from America. And he does the neck crack where he puts a brace thing on your neck and he fucking hikes you up. Oh, I've heard about that. Oh. Yeah, the neck. I feel that's fucking amazing. Stretches your whole fucking body out. And, yeah, that and I, good. And I watch the people, like for some fucked up reason, I get in these fucking, you know, we'll talk about those, you get in those holes, you know, and you just watch shit. Mate, I've been in those fucking holes where I'm just watching people getting cracked constantly. <laughs> On YouTube? Oh, I love it. Like, it's just <laughs> it's so relaxing. Like, you, you, I'm just sitting there going, God, I wish I could tap in me now. Like, you just see the person, just the relief in the person's face, like the whole fucking, they're all crunched up and it's just like, Fucking hell, I'm like six foot tall now, you know. <laughs> I've been watching um, uh, hackers versus scammers. Oh, okay, yep. Yeah. And I know nothing about computers, so it's it's wildly entertaining. But it's basically um, uh, these dudes who are good with computers take those calls from telemarketers who are fake, uh, and then they get them on the eye view thing. No, Team Viewer. I'm learning yep. all these. I'm learning all these computer terms I'll never be able to use. So they get them on the team viewer thing and then he log, like controls their computer without them knowing Fuck. and rips them off and like Jeez. deletes their files and shit and victim folders and all sorts of stuff. It's fucking yeah. amazing. Um, I can't remember the dude's name. But, but that um, could be dangerous too. If they've stolen money off people, like lots of money, now that yeah. person's got all that fucking... Power. Yeah, no, 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 no. There was a oh, dude. I've watched hours of this shit today. There was a dude who uh, saw he, he was just viewing mm-hmm. this scam company or group or whatever you want to call it, um, and they were getting someone's uh, Walmart. I think Walmart um, cash cards. Yep, vouchers. Sorry, of like two grand's worth. Yep. And they were, he could see what they were typing and they had no idea who was there. So he called them up and um, he stole the information, called Walmart, got them to redirect it and send new um, things out. It was fucking brilliant. So cool. And then like he's, he's in the hackers' computers, uh, he's in the scammers' computers, like stalling them and shit. And he deleted something like three, 300,000 files or some shit and like crippled a company. It was great. I can saw it today. The, the guy from the IT company um, Anna works for, fuck, he jumped in there, no problem. What do you mean? Like, as in to fix up the computers. Oh, yeah. You know, they got some new, she got some new staff and shit. And then, anyway, she had to, she had to sort it out, get it get them going. And, um, yeah, he jumped in there and stuff. And I said to Anna, mate, if he's coming through our internet, seriously, don't fucking look at the fucking porn that I've watched. So just fucking, just, just fuck putting it out there. Get some computer. I'll be. I'll be happy. <laughs> you, need, you need a different IP address. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> nah, nah, I've got VPNs and all that shit. No, oh, okay. Well, I don't. I don't know what that is. But no, um, so, well, I think there's. Oh, look, I'm paying money for shit that I don't even know if fucking works or doesn't work. You know? <laughs> <laughs> that shit works. Yeah, right, I'll pay for that. But I'll be like, oh, get some of that. <laughs> <laughs> fucking hell! No, nah, the internet's a scary place. <laughs> I, I, what I really would love to go uh, and like even watching it, like I'm, I'm, I'm like I'm curious. I'm, I've got to I've got to Google it. So I'm curious on that, you know, dark web shit, how they get shit. Yeah, I don't know either. I'm scared you know, to look it up. Um, I reckon that's that would be like fuck. How, you know, like I've heard stories about shit like that. Yeah. Um, there's a guy that I shoot with. You know, um, 
you didn't meet him actually. You you went up. You know the guys, the farm we went to. Yeah, yeah. He he owns the farm. His son's fucking very computer literate. Yeah, yeah. And his son's yeah done a few of those things like that. Fucking hell, man! He could get you. <laughs> he was shooting at a club. He comes up to you. You want to buy any? Uh, uh, what, what are they? Fucking those poker poker machines? Slot machines. It's slot machines. He goes, "Oh, I've got a container." I go, "I'll, I'll call up one of my, my contacts." So I called up a contact, <laughs> and I go, "Do you need any?" He goes, mm, "Let me think about it." So I ring up. I had to ring up in Thailand. <laughs> one of these guys I know that he might need, need it. You know, so and ring him oh, up, and he's like. Yeah, I said, well, you know, he's willing to sell them and shit. Was it, you can't use them here. Yeah, you're not allowed to sell them here. Nah. So I, he had, bought, I had one. Yeah, so he bought them. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, it's a full container of slot machines from Queensland <laughs> or something. Yeah. Fucking hell. Ask um, no questions, don't get answers. Yeah, pretty much. And, but it's just funny because, like, that, that, that shit's come through, you know, from somebody or, you know. Somewhere, but, yeah. Somewhere, yeah. So, but it's funny because his son's into the, all that shit and I'm just like, scary shit bro fucking get into that it, w- it would be you know was, um i was i reckon that they'd find shit out about what you what you you got you need know, bank details and all that shit you know they would man God, oh, I've, got, I've, I've got no money but no it, it'd just be like it'd be interesting to see what's for sale and i don't mean kids and people but like you know what what car parts can i get <laughs> you go, yeah i reckon you get fucking anything yeah like that. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely get in here. If yeah, anybody's looking for a fucking a grill for a CM Chrysler 79 model, I've got one. <laughs> I did see that sitting there. Actually, I know somewhere that'll buy it. Where? Um, uh, there's a joint in um, South Melbourne. Oh, I'll make a phone call for me. Yeah, it's um, Yeah. Um, so, yeah. Um, at least like this has become a fucking wheel of dealer show as well. It has, yeah. We talked a lot about cars. I feel like we might lose some people. No, nah, um, no, we talk about everything here. Yeah. Not about we did cars. talk about everything. No, nah, um, everything. We talked about glory holes five minutes ago. Fucking sticking my fucking eye in a glory hole. <laughs> we talked about building a fucking stri- a, a, a comedy club out of a stripper joint. How the fuck does that work? Yeah, fair point. <laughs> I might do we some research about, on that. We one. we yeah. talk about everything. Yeah, there's no uh, limits. We're talking about recycling these. Um, I, yeah. I've decided I want to get another cat, but not anytime soon. Cause I think dog, bro. Or it'd be too many. I've got no room for a dog. One dog, fucking. Get a fluff ball. Nah, I've already got yeah. a fluff ball. Their name's Pickles. Yeah, I know, but dog would be... They'd be friends, wouldn't they? Probably not my cats, no. But no, how, how good would it be to have, like, one of those black and white tuxedo cats? Mm-hmm. Like real sharp looking cat, yeah, and call it Hannibal. Oh, don't do that. No, yeah, yeah do it, guy. Okay. Yeah, it'd be fucking awesome. Put on a lead, take it out, and just got that yeah. fucking Hannibal. mask. Come here, come here, Hannibal. Yeah, I think it'd be great. Get like a miniature panther or something. Oh. No, I was looking at I was looking at um uh, dogs, another dog, um during the week, and I think Roddy. Yeah, time to get a roddy. They're scary, man. I oh, know they're, they're they're so beautiful in their face. I love their fucking their face. Is just, oh, they're good looking dogs. Yeah, they're a good looking dog. You know what I mean? But they're just so strong, like you know. Yeah. Um, um, because he he's just yeah he he's so friendly with other dogs. Like fucking, there was a bull mastiff yesterday. We went for our walk, and I'm walking back, and he had to be fucking. And I've said to him, and I pulled him up really tight to my leg, and it's like, nah, don't fuck around, don't go jumping up. And the, the Mastiff, I saw the Mastiff on the corner of my eye and I've looked at the lady going, please God, let this lady be able to control this fucking... She did. I've got oh, to give her credit. Yeah, She was capable. She controlled her dog, the rest of it. But I was just worried about him because he's like sitting there prancing around going, come on, come at me, you can't, you know? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, fucking stop moving. <laughs> Let's just get past this dog. <laughs> and the Mastiff literally dropped its fucking... You could just see him. He dropped his shoulders and just sort of come down really... Giving us this look, and I've gone, oh fuck! And now nah, she held on to me. He started barking, losing his shit. And I've gone, now nah. what a roddy! Fuck that! I would like, yeah, no, nah, no dramas. Walk over with the roddy. You know what I mean? The bull massive is the one that the ones that get locked jaw when they bite onto something. No, nah, no, nah, that's the uh, oh, pit bull. 
Pitbull, but I think Bull Mastiff might be the same. I'm not sure. They're, they're from the same sort of family breed of dogs. Yeah. But they're a lot bigger. They look clumsy, but they're big, you know? They're the ones with, like, the big curved nose. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I used to work with someone who looked like that. <laughs> Fair enough. Hey, Julian. <laughs> <laughs> Avid viewer of this show, obviously. <laughs> nah. Ever, ever since I put him on Grinder for taking selfies on my phone, like, he hasn't spoken to me. Oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> That's, that, that'd actually be funny. Could you imagine? It, that? it was funny. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, man. He was going to get reamed at the drop of a message. <laughs> dude, I paid for... I, I paid for fucking premium to get this dude some. Oh, God. So he's grabbed my phone to take some photos for some warranty work at work. Mm -hmm. And um, gives, gives me my phone back. He goes, can you send those photos to my missus? I was like, what? No. And he goes, why? I was like, well, firstly, at the time he was 23. I was like, dude, you're 23 and you, your girlfriend's still in high school. I'm not going on that fucking register. Yeah, yeah. So, no. And um, you'd probably go all right if you swapped sides if she cheated again. He was all oh, yeah, I would. <laughs> so I downloaded Grinder for premium. <laughs> Did a little um a little bio on Julian, changed his name of course, because I'm not a complete yeah, yeah. cunt. And then um he was in the middle of South Melbourne where I was working. And uh -huh. um he was getting hits left, right, and center. Within <sighs> half an hour he had about twenty hits. <laughs> Jesus. But um I'm quite comfortable with my sexuality. I believe I've said that before, uh, on the podcast. But I wasn't ready because I didn't know anything about Grinder because obviously I'm straight, but um, I didn't realize you could get attachments sent to you on Grinder, whereas Tinder you can't. Okay. I didn't open any attachments, but I could only assume what they were. So there's about Jeez. thirty odd attachments in about an hour, <laughs> and I, ga I gave up. <laughs> yeah, deleted it. But um, yeah, there was someone like 500 meters up the road who wanted to fuck his brains out. Did you see like? Did you see photos of them? I oh, yeah, there was like some fucking meat oh, meathead dude called Tony wanted to destroy him. <laughs> yeah. Tony fucking hell. Classic. I could have made someone's day and someone else's whole week, but you know. And then he lost his shit. Uh he found out because everyone at work I, I told most of the people at work and everyone was checking in on me every like fifteen, half an hour sort of thing. Yeah, yeah. Like, How's Julian going on grind? I was like, Yeah, great, look at that. And then uh, he found out at the end of the day. And then uh, come Monday, I got called into the office and uh, the boss was a bit pissed. But see, that's what pisses me off. Like, if whatever's good for the goose is good for the game. You get what I'm saying? You, you know, oh, man. Staff morale was through the fucking roof because of me. But like... That's the thing. He goes, I... was, was it a joke? I was like, yeah, it was more of an experiment than a joke. He goes, yeah, yeah. right, did you delete it? I was like, yeah. He goes, all right, I should be writing you up for sexual harassment right now. So, thank fuck for that. I told you about that one that I, that I spray painted one of those containers and the container, uh, when I was working as a, as a removalist, I told you, just before I opened the restaurant up and I, I took some time to work during the day while I was renoing my um, restaurant and I was... Sprayed a container? Not a container, like a bin. You know those big, big ass bins that you get? No. There's like big fucking, I don't know, what are they? Yeah, dumpsters. Dumpsters, big ass, massive ones, you know, where you no, can you actually fucking... You haven't told me the story, no. You can put a car in them. Anyway, we used to get them in there and I, I used to work for RMIT in the city. Yeah. We were based out of there. And one day, take, taking a piece and it was just, you know, fucking blokey blokes being dickheads as always. And I've written Herbie's gay on it, one of the guys, which he's not. Um, maybe he is. I don't know. Whatever. doesn't matter. He used to grab my ass. Slot, so. slot, <laughs> slightly for frowned upon these days. Yeah. And, and shout out to Herb. I love Herb. We're great mates. Uh, but what's funny about it, and um, anyway, the, the, the company that picks up the bins, took the bin, off it went. And I was there for a year. The following year, new boss starts. Fucking, they turn around and say, oh, we're going to do some rubbish removals. Bins are out there. Do you think? This new boss walks past the bin because we used to be in like the quadrangle of the of the RMIT in the city. Yep. And the bin would always get left up there. And all you could see on it was fucking Herbie's gay on the side of it. And I wrote that a year ago, right? And I had fucking like, that, that's the last thing on my mind. You know what I mean? Yeah. And anyway, we're all working and stuff. And I'll never forget 
fucking he comes downstairs losing his shit. Who's written fucking Herb's Gay? And we're all like looking at each other. Fucking no one. Like we, you know, we haven't, we haven't taken the piss for a while. You know what I mean? Like, what the fuck are you talking about? And we walk, I walked up there with, you know, all the boys walked up there. We had a look. Like, oh, fuck, you wrote that a year ago. Okay, that was about a year ago. And then came back down. That was about a year ago. You're like, fuck, it was a year ago fucking today. Get fucking rid of that thing. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, yeah. What happened? The shit we used to do. Fucking the confetti. There you go. This is a story. We did a job, and um, one of the young guys, um, he, he called him out. Young kid, fucking would have been about oh, 16, 17. Young kid, junior. Shout out to junior. And a uh, good kid, but he always used to want to come with me. Like I, I used to run the job, he'd come with me. I'd make it easy. Fucking knock the job out in fucking half the time and then just chill out, and, yeah. you know, have a coffee and make everybody happy. And uh, we're doing a job and then Herb's just been a fucking dick, you know, when somebody's just been a total dick and Junior just lost yeah. his shoes, he sort of called him out. You hear a fucking idiot. You know, you're fucking back and forth, back and forth. And then we found some confetti. We were, we were relocating somebody and the fucking lock, not confetti, a shitload of confetti. <laughs> so he's taken all the, you know, he goes, he goes, what would you do with all this shit? We'll just throw it in the truck. I go, nah, nah. If, if that was me now, I'll take all the vents out and just fill up all these vents. <laughs> and he's looked at me and he goes, I don't know how to do that. And one of the other guys, Nath, shout out to Nath, Nath turned around and goes, I know how to do that. Nath was very cool. I'm collected. <laughs> so Nath's helped him take the vents out. They've filled bags of fucking confetti in the actual fucking thing. All you see will fucking and and this is the thing. Back in that 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 time, that was probably about eight nine years ago. We didn't really film shit in that. Would have been great to have a bit of video. Of oh that. yeah, fuck yeah. And you just see the guy fucking was. We've turned all the fucking vents open and fucking turned all the aircon on. When he starts up, the first thing is just start fucking wolf. <laughs> <laughs> Lost so his good. shit. Lost his shit. Oh god. You know, I've ratchet strapped a person in the truck and driven from fucking Bandura to the city. <laughs> <laughs> I've ratchet strapped a person while doing a job and like people are walking past the truck in the city and all they see is a person ratchet strapped to the back of the truck. <laughs> because I used to turn around and say, all right, you got to hold the ratchet strap here. You got to hold it here because we've got to extend it. So it's got to actually got to extend. And while they're holding it, I'm like, why would you fucking do that? You know, the next thing is I've got a fucking ratchet and I'm sitting there just fucking, what are you doing? I've got to, you know, talk, you know get the taut on it and bloody yeah. tighten it up. And they're just like looking at me, just ratchet strapping him to a fucking wall. <laughs> <laughs> I'll never forget this guy's yelling. He's like, help, help. They fucking <laughs> ratchet strap me to the back of a truck. And people are walking past, like looking and going, nah, fuck that. And then, like, we're walking out with equipment. We just, we're literally filling the whole truck with these guys ratchet strapped to the front of the truck. <laughs> that's oh, good. The shit, we used to do. Fuck. Fuck yeah, that's good as. You know, they, 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 they were a fun time. Bit of, bit of, bit of taking the piss. But that's the thing. That, that was the whole nobody, nobody got offended. Yeah, nobody got hurt. Nobody got yeah. hurt. We're all on the same level. You know, you'd act like fucking idiots, um, but everybody was on the same fucking keel. You know what I mean? Doesn't they? I'm better than you, or you're better than me. We're, we're still it's a team. Yeah. Go quicker. Yeah. You know, and people that got offended usually didn't want, didn't last. You know what I mean? Like, if they were too offended to be there, yeah, they were out. You know what I mean? So, you know, and that was the that was the thing about it. And then I've always said that if you don't like somewhere you're at, they fucking cause a hoo I just leave. Yeah, it's not the place for you to be if you don't want to. But you like, you know, you know yourself. If, you, if you're working for somebody and you're just, if it becomes a grind to get up to go to work, yeah, walk away. Yeah, you know. Yeah, I've always said that to the people. When people people go, oh, but you know, yeah, no, nah, you're better off walking away and getting another job or whatever than actually sitting there and just being miserable every fucking day of your life. When COVID's not happening, yes, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, no, 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 yeah, I'm, I'm like no, job, no, yeah. no, 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 not when yeah. COVID's happening, but I'm just saying, like, I'm talking generally as in, like, you, every day if it's normal, normal life, no COVID or anything, but if you're so miserable, just get the fuck out of there. Yeah. I hate when people go, no, no, it's, the people that say, no, 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 I'm not going to do it, is, is basically, they're happy enough to get the shit and, and, and they're comfortable and, not, and they don't want to try anything new, which yeah. is, 
in, in, you know, sometimes you've got to step out of your fucking comfort zone to see what the other shit is and never go back. To, and my, my one rule is never go back to that place. No. Nah. If, you, it if you've left changes. it, yeah. it, it, one, it won't change. And two, if it does, it just will never be the same. No, it won't be the same team. It won't be nah. the same scenario. Yeah, no, I agree. Totally agree. You know. Um, speaking of teams, though, we need to do a shout out. Yeah. Shout out or call out? Call out, I'd say. Yeah, go on. We're going to call out. We're going to call out somebody today. Not for anything bad. We want to do a call out to Mr. What is it? What is it? COVID? 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 Um, El Covido? El yeah, Covido. Right. Yeah. I think it's El Covido. Lorenzo. Lorenzo. Lorenzo, we're calling you out, mate. We want to do a cooking show with you, brother. Yeah, like a but, cook off. The cook off. The ball's our team against the fucking El Covido fucking uh, Spanish slash Gangs, gangster Filipino. Gangster, Mexican Filipino. Thing. Yeah. Yeah. So, dude. Yeah. We'll call it out. Um, so if you're up for it, you even if Nikki wants to be part of it, you and Nikki, you yeah, get Nikki together. involved, yeah, you know. So you and Nikki, me and Geordie, um, yeah, do a cook off. We will we'll hopefully organise it with the boys, go live stream it, yep, and um, yeah, and you guys can we'll have a commentator hopefully and basically get the commentator to commentate any questions coming up and yep. uh, what we're doing and all that sort of stuff. And a narrator, if you will. Yeah, a narrator. A good narrator. I don't know if that's a word, actually. Yeah, commentator. Yeah, a com- no, a good commentator. <laughs> a, host, commentator. a host, a host, a host, a host. He's a host. He's a host, host. Yeah. He's a host. He should be cool about it. I don't yeah. know how to pronounce his last name, but he's cool. Rowdy. <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll announce him because you're fucking useless. Yeah, oh, sorry. Um, Rowdy. 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 All right. Sorry, Liam. Liam Rowdy. Liam Roddy. Happy birthday for the other day, buddy. But yeah, yeah well, <laughs> Liam, Liam Roddy. Yeah. Um, Shout out to Liam. Also, I think we're going to have this one up quite soon. Uh, mm-hmm. Keep an eye out on Joe, White, Joe White's official pages. I'm jumping in for a laugh being his uh, relationship advisor for his dating show that he's got happening at the moment, which is live streamed on Instagram. That is per- perfect. I mean, who, who else would we go to for fucking uh, relationship advice but, but Mr. Geordie? <laughs> well, do as I say, not as I do. That's my number one rule. But um, yeah, I, I don't know what anyone's going to learn from it. Uh, it could be a train wreck. Who knows? But it's going to be fun. So, so um, when's, it, when's, it, when's the show on? Eight o'clock Sunday. Okay, eight o'clock he, Sunday. He runs it every Sunday to Thursday, every night at eight o'clock. Mm-hmm. But I think I'm jumping up every Sunday doing a review of the couples that he's matched up yep. and giving my two cents on everyone and so that's joe white uh official joe, page. joe white official on instagram yep. and i believe it's joe white comedy uh, on youtube i think it's live stream no. there as well cool, so cool. uh you might learn something you probably won't but it will be entertaining i hope so uh tune in this might be up by then if it's not tune in the next week or uh, just check it out it's it's quite fun um, see some desperate people get some love. So, jeez, I've got to watch this. Hey, I'm old. I live out of you, uh, you guys. I live through you guys. Okay, so fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> you get a bit of ball action, really? What sort of ball action was it? Was it to explain Snipped. this to me. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it was cut. Yeah, um, but yeah, check it out. Um, Absolutely, that's all I've got going on. Unless someone wants to donate me a fourth cat, and I can call it Hannibal. A fourth cat. Got any pussy laying around? No, I'm too old now. No pussy laying around. Uh, <laughs> um, no uh, actually, no. And, I, and I got too much that. respect for Anna to comment on that. And we're yeah. doing. Nah, she'll kick. She'll kick both of us in the nuts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hopefully, we start with you. You go down hard, and then I'll be like, hey, "Oh, nearly, I will." I'll, I'll turn around and go, "You nearly killed a man, so don't touch Dude, me." Dude, I'm, sta- I'm, sta- I'm, sta- I'm, sta- I'm starting to tear up at the very idea of it. That's how sensitive I am at the moment. Oh well, fucking you got you gotta you gotta give a play well, when once you get back to fucking on the horse, you gotta give a play by play, did it hurt? All right. You, yeah, you love to give a bit of a yeah. And what we can do, we can have the person that you've done it with when we're having the fucking their voice changed and fucking uh, <laughs> a photo. Jesus. <laughs> All right, yeah. All right. 
Yeah, they could turn around and go, oh, it's pretty, uh, yeah, no, I didn't like that at all. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't like it when I grubbed his balls. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, yeah, and also next week we're doing a live stream again. So we'll do a yes. live stream next we're, week. We're going to do it properly this time. Yeah, um, we'll do it properly. We're all set up. We're all ready to go. Um, we'll have a commentator uh, on there, hopefully. Yep. To any questions you guys want to come out and ask us, this will hopefully come out Sunday night, Monday. So you've got till next Saturday to hit us up. It is currently the first of August at the moment, so yep, first of August. We're today. looking at the seventh of August. Yep. And we do. What are we doing? We're doing drinking game, or what are we doing? Yeah, we'll do drinking game. Is it seventh so, yeah. of August or the eighth of eighth of August? Hang on, let me get this right. I'm a fucking yeah. idiot when it comes to dates. Man. It'll be next week, next Saturday, eight o'clock on the eighth. Eighth of eighth of the eighth of the eighth, motherfuckers. Eighth of the eighth of the eighth. Are we bring him down a building again. I'm also, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were going to say some Chinese joke about that being good luck or something, but yeah. Um, <laughs> um, yeah maybe so that's the day COVID stops. Who knows? So the eighth, eighth, of the eighth, the eighth of the eighth. Uh, we're doing it at eight o'clock. Uh, we're doing a live stream drink. What did, but how we, how, what do we say we're doing drinking? What is it drinking? Every, every, every question we answer, we have to have a drink. Oh, cool. So might need to refresh the questions because some of them might not be mm-hmm. valid now. Um, yeah. but we're going to do a call out on the socials on our private, private socials and yep. the calls out one as well. Uh, asking if anyone has anything they want to ask us could be about anything. Yeah, and you can jump on when we're live and hit us with a question there and then. Um, yeah, we're up for it. We have the uh, technology. We're just trying to work out how to use it. No, no, we've got we're down pat now. We're all we're all. Oh, okay, we're all, sweet. No, no, we're all good. That was a we're famous gonna, line from a movie that you just ruined, but that's fine. You know, um, what was it? I think six million dollar man. Down pat. No. Oh. We have the technology. Yeah. Oh no, it's Family Guy. Never mind. Never mind. Don't Jeez. Worry. I'm, I'm tired. Don't worry. Whoa. <laughs> somebody needs to go and jerk off. That's what I'm saying. I really do. <laughs> I'm scared too. Can you come give me a hand? I can stop it giving the hand, bro. <laughs> we talked about glory. I was about, now you're sitting there going, can you come and give me a hand? Not that I've got anything against it. I probably would jerk you off if we were fucking on a tour somewhere. If I had to, I, I would because I'm there. Man, you stopped, you, dude, you stopped the tour. I thought you were going to go for like Desert Island and we were going we were gonna to die. <laughs> you didn't even get far. No, no, if we're on the Desert Island... We're it just involved to... a bus with you. Fuck it. If we're on the <laughs> Desert Island and about to die, yes, I would allow you to fuck me. <laughs> I wouldn't do the fucking... I would allow you to do the fucking... But for jerking me off, we just have to be on a bus on tour somewhere, <laughs> so we could be going into suburb. What are you doing? I don't know. Just to help enjoy you. Give us a second. What's going on? I don't know. Just fucking help enjoy you. <laughs> oh, fuck, man. You're, you're a better friend than I thought. <laughs> We don't need to book a plane trip anywhere. Fuck yeah. No, in my luck, fucking we bring somebody else along and then I'll be like, fucking, oh, Jesus Christ, I think we're going on a skiing trip. <laughs> fuck it, these cunts, I've fucking had enough. <laughs> Benny, it's the middle of summer. What are you doing? You're in perfect form. <laughs> fucking hell. What, oh, God, what, I call need... that, what do they call that? Um, I need a drink what after this. What is that? What is that? Um, uh, boat skiing. What they call this? Fucking. What? You know, on the, on the water skiing. Water. water skiing. Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> Boat skiing, water skiing. Ah, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I don't know what's worse. You saying that or me understanding what you meant. <laughs> you understand what I meant. So anyway, next week, if there's any English people that can teach me English, <laughs> we'll have to come on and, and, and work out my grammar and shit. <laughs> you know, when I'm talking, just put a fucking dot and a fucking question mark or a fucking comma. If anyone whatever. can decipher Benny, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we've got, got an action pack next weekhead. So check it, check us out. So Jordy's going to be on uh, Joe White's official page tomorrow, Instagram and uh, YouTube channel. YouTube, maybe Facebook, but definitely YouTube yeah. and Insta. Check it out tomorrow. What time? Eight o'clock. Eight o'clock tomorrow night. Uh, we've shouted out fucking. We've given a shout out to uh, Liam, Roddy, Roddy. Uh, 
<laughs> I know his name. Just we love you, Liam. Here, He's yeah. just an idiot. No. Um, um, <laughs> yeah, and um, yeah. So Liam's going to be a commentator for both the 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 two uh, shows that we're going to do. Yep. Um, and we've called out um, the boys, the uh, El Cavito cooking show against the Balls Out cooking show. So we'll have a bit of fun with that, and hopefully, um, yeah, we'll catch you guys next week. Thank you for listening. Thank you, everyone. The Balls Out Comedy Podcast, and take care. We'll talk to you soon. Oh, yeah, see ya. <laughs> <laughs> I always wait for your see ya at in the case end. In case someone's not watching, in case someone's not watching, <laughs> goodbye. <laughs>